it's time to think about planting out corn and beans. This is the time of the year to get them in the ground. First, let's talk about the beans. They're the bush type and then, of course, the pole type. This is Blue Lake bush and this is Blue Lake pole. So you have the two different varieties. And then in hybridization a few years ago, they introduced the Kentucky Blue, which is a cross between the Blue Lake and also the Kentucky Wonder. And it's called Kentucky Blue. It's a pole variety, and it made the All-American Winners list. They're excellent variety. And then here's a great purple one. This is called Purple Queen. It is a bush. This is a bush also, which is the tender crop stringless. And another bush variety, of course, is this one, which is great, by the way, because of its color once again. And that's called Golden Wax. And then another bush variety here called Contender. And as well, another pole variety is this one. The Old Oregon Giant has been replaced by a variety called Cascade Giant. And then this is the very decorative variety. Uh, it actually has red flowers on it. It's called Scarlet Wonder Bean. And it does also make an edible bean. It's very often used in the flower garden because of the beautiful red flowers on it. And last but not least, the Kentucky Wonder, which of course the, these two combined make up this one here, the Kentucky Blue. Also, let's talk about corn. Varieties are really important, I think, because some are very sweet and others are not. This is one called Lyric, which is, has a sugar enhancer in it. This is another one that has great flavor. It's a bicolor. It's called Peaches and Cream. And this is Golden Jubilee. That's a favorite for quite a few years now. And this is one called Alpine. This also has a sugar enhancer in it. It means it's very, very sweet. It's a white variety, by the way. And this is, Myrna and I love this one. This is called Candy Corn. It has an enzyme in it that keeps it fresh for about 48 hours. And another early, early variety is Early Sun Glow. If you're in an area with a short season climate, that's a great one. And then another great variety is the Golden Cross Bantam. It's been around for a long, long time. Let's quickly, in the raised bed, talk about planting these out. And let's start with a few of the bush beans first. And is what I'll do is just give you an idea of how I usually plant them. Is, of course, always follow the packet directions, but just kind of scatter the beans out a little bit, like so. Whoops, a little bit too close there. Make a bed out of them, really and space them about two inches apart. Now, as far as the corn is concerned, is what I would do is to plant them on one foot centers in all directions. And if you do that, you'll get a great crop of the corn. Right now, as the weather warms up, is a great time to plant both beans and corn. 